Fieldwork is an essential component of our research. The data we collect helped us, firstly, to understand what ice cover properties the radar system can detect, and secondly, to evaluate the performance of the methods that we developed to derive ice cover information from radar products. As is the case for most surface cover types, the gathering of snow and ice data in the field is time consuming and expensive. Depending on the conditions, field work can also be difficult and even hazardous. Unsafe access and extreme cold are among the conditions that are most likely to obstruct the assessment of snow and ice cover properties. In practice, adverse conditions often reduce our carefully planned and scientifically sound fieldwork protocols to best effort exercises. During the freeze-up and break-up seasons, it is not safe to work on ice. Therefore, we limit ourselves to documenting the extents, concentrations and type of ice by means of aerial and or shore-based photography. To account for rapidly changing ice conditions, we try to keep the time difference between the field observations and radar image acquisitions as small as possible. Once winter has settled in, the ice covering the majority of lakes and rivers in Canada can be accessed without significant risk. This allows us to get hands-on and describe or measure various snow and ice properties in detail. To do so, we use various tools, including common ones like shovels and rulers, and special ones like ice augers and ground-penetrating radar. Among other properties, we determine the thicknesses and composition of the existing snow and ice layers. We frequently extract ice cores and transport these to a lab for a more detailed analysis of ice types and impurities with the help of polarized light. Once in a while, we will use a dielectric probe to measure the permittivity of snow and ice. The hardness of ice cover often obstructs our efforts to determine its dielectric characteristics. 